the definition of trick it off. <laughs> to spend money on a female who is not your woman. So you So basically it's like the black man saying, you know, we're we're tired of the women in the states. It's women across seas that <laughs> that are they're lined up, you know, ready to uh -huh, ready to worship you and treat you like a real man should and all that kind of stuff. So they're trying to get people to get their passport and travel overseas and, and live abroad. How you go travel overseas <laughs> and you making forty five thousand dollars a year, black like, man? How you go travel overseas and those women still got the same DNA as women got over here? A woman mm. over here is almost the same as a woman over there. Mm. How you go travel over? How you go travel to Brazil <laughs> and get one of these races? in Brazil because <laughs> let's let's look up the, the real history of Brazil. Brazil is 70 70 percent black, but you don't see no damn black people. Why mm. put them in the boxes, man? We don't need them, <laughs> we don't need them people. So you want the person that put your people who was in Africa 500 years ago in boxes. That's who you want to marry. Yes. <laughs> and and you make and you make it eighteen dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can't you can't your job you probably go to a job you can't just you know work at home <laughs> and just move to brazil like you know it's just, it's just a lot that goes into what they're talking about and i don't know it's just people are real gullible and they ready to sign up for them and it's and it's i'm not gonna say it's a scam but it look like a scam kind of i ain't no it ain't no scam but no i now, saw what they were saying they were like trying to do a like crowdfund to try to send one of the guys over there and like pay for a whole year for him to be over in Brazil. And they're like, you know, they're going to be like, well, you, you send us over there and we're going to get up there and we're going to get established. And then next year we're going to get you over here too. You know, that something like that. Here, here's the thing what passport bros are doing. They are a term called tricking off. All right. <laughs> That's what's really that. That's what's really, ain't nothing wrong with it, Brandon. Ain't, You're right. when you, there ain't nothing wrong with you. Go out of town, you can have a good time, trick it off if you got the money. So right. let's look up the definition of trick it off <laughs> to spend money on a female who is not your woman. So you going over there spending money on females. So wait, wait, wait. Women can't do this. Well, well I guess you women <laughs> what It'd be I a guess dumb woman, woman do. tricking off on me. She gotta be ultra no, rich to trick no, off but, on a man. But I guess women would do it for other women. What you get what I'm saying? <laughs> if somebody's what? bi, you know, they'll be probably doing the same thing. No, we do even but even by even even by women, <laughs> no, by women still ain't no man, you know. Well, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> Take a well, you tell me all the, why all these bi women got kids. Then tell me that <laughs> <laughs> you tell me that if they don't like no man, why they why they don't what ain't oh, there's something to do. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't saying nothing. Let, let me hush up, right? Well, go ahead, say, go ahead. You can say all these bi, you can say get, why all these lesbian women's got kids. Then, huh? right? That's true. So, if if you if you was a hundred percent lesbian. <laughs> You won't have no kids. So every right. kid, every lesbian who got a kid, y'all ain't one hundred percent. Y'all faking <laughs> unless you adopt right. that kid. Right. That's true. That's a good point, Brandon. That's gonna be too hot for TV. Like that be <laughs> too hot for TV. But that's the truth. Well, that's how we do. That's that how we do. But go truth. ahead, trick it off. I'm, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> no, damn, you got four kids though. So what? Right. Oh, did well, you, you adopt just switch up? Your... Right. You could just <laughs> <laughs> nah. You ain't Michael Jackson. You ain't having no kids, adopting those kids, and put switching old eggs around somebody right. carry your stuff. Uh uh, you was in that 7 Eleven. You saw that guy, then y'all went to the Motel Six and handed right. that out, right? Because you like them. But guys go to Brazil to trick off, they go to the Philippines to trick off. Let me put this thing right here. They don't, but understand. people have been doing that for years, though. Why, why turn it into a whole movement and say, you know, we we passport bros, we traveling over there, you know, this the new wave. Man, it's not a movement, man. This is a th this is a meme. <laughs> it's not a movement. Because right, I tell you, man, black people right now can't move across the street right now. So how can they go out of, go Brazil, out of town? And build in Brazil, yeah. You know, I was doing, you know, the boys got Charlie White. You know Charlie White? Charleston White. Mm -hmm. Charleston White, he talks all that junk. But you know what? One thing he could do? 
Right. If we go to the next city, the boys and Kate get out of town to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> you know? but, but why is that? Why is that though? Because we broke, man. We broke. <laughs> we broke. Brandon, you could be Brandon. You could go to uh, Las Vegas right now and talk mm. all the shit you want to about Chicago boys. Ain't no Chicago <laughs> boys gonna come out there and get you. <laughs> they ain't <laughs> right. Or that's you. true. Or that's just, true. You can go to Oklahoma. Oklahoma's <laughs> right next to Texas. Talk all right. the shit about Texas boys. They ain't driving across that line to get you. You got to come to that city. That's when they gonna get you. Right. That's true. <laughs> so. And you talk about and what 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 do the uh, white terriers do, Brandon? When they talk, when they get ready to do something, what do they do? I don't know what you mean. Those white terriers are drive to go get you. Oh, oh I'm really? driving two hours. I'm going across <laughs> state lines. Yeah, that is but, true. So you think they got more dedication or more just more freedom? Like it seemed like they could. <laughs> <laughs> but with the black, with the black so called thugs, the alpha man, that's what they call them. She, you move across the street, they can't cross the street to get you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's reality man that, yeah. is, that is reality there are a lot of issues that's facing the black community from relationships between mother and father and the failure of passing down standards integrity and duty from the lack of education or the debt load from higher education go to school they say but no opportunity on graduation day from incarceration to low skill occupation that marches in gentrification. Well, the time has come. It's time for a change. My book, From Zero to 200K, will outline the steps I use to change my social and economical status. Learn the steps I took to lower my expenses. Learn the steps I took to increase my income. Learn the steps I took to increase my credit and keep a good credit score. Learn about how I generate wealth. Most importantly, how I got God involved in my life. By the time you finish this book, you'll be ready to control your finances with a renewed vigor, knowing that you can accomplish your goals if you apply yourself and make good decisions over the long term. From zero to 200K, what faith, relationships, strippers, jobs, college, hustles, and heartbreak taught me about finance is a must read for every black person in America. Hit the link below and let's get to work.